right, so now what we're gonna do is put on this reflective gold insulation. And this is just gonna help with heat loss. All right, this stuff's kind of expensive, so I am actually going to cut off just that little bit. This stuff is also very difficult to get off the backing. Well, I guess hopefully that's a good sign that the backing is really good. Recyclable, so it is. completely block that out, which I don't think is our goal. The trick to this is to catch the corner and that lets you get the backing off. Alright. Okay, so we're basically going to put a bunch of this on the inside and in order to do that I need to hold the door open so that I don't have to fight with it. In small pieces. So the first thing I want to do is try to reduce the amount of heat getting into the control area because that is a sensitive area and doesn't need the extra heat. Fortunately I can't really work around this damn door. Set that there. springs so that I can open the door and leave it open. Oh, yes. There. That makes my life easier.
So that looks pretty good. Now I want to do in the back, use a little bit longer piece. I'm still going to use short controllable pieces. And This isn't going to be very photogenic. Sorry, folks. It's not going to be photogenic at all. I'm concentrating on the back is there's it's just a piece of steel there's no insulation on the other side of it so this will keep as much heat in the oven and that's an area I can't use a ceramic blanket on try and do the top. Oh, and fortunately we don't have squat left. So instead of wasting it on the top I'm going to put it in the back and just get the back as best I can.
So that's what we've accomplished back there. And there's literally, that's it. That, that's the other side of that steel. So there's no insulation space whatsoever. Next, we're gonna insert this. This is called floor and tunnel shield and it needs to go up in here. So first we gotta get the this out of the way. first we want to get this in here and then we're gonna drill holes in it I think that's where it goes the really hard way. So I think we're in for another shit show trying to get this in here, but we're going to do it anyway.
So I'm gonna bend it a little bit to try and keep it off the ceiling. And then I'm gonna get down here on my knees so I can see what the fuck I'm doing. Should have put this in before the silicone and by taking out the elements. This is this is an assembly error. Because there's just there's clearance issues. And once it starts to stick, you're screwed and you've got to slide it up over the element. stupid stupid assembly option this really should have gone in before everything else but then you wouldn't be able to get the the glue it, the silicone in but that's fine take the the bulbs out put silicone it put this shit in then put the bulbs in and silicone them is just the nemesis. I can 
see why there's adhesive problems because probably by the time you get it in here you've ripped all the adhesive off and it's stuck to the top of this thing yeah so the problem is it's sticking right here it's getting caught between these because it's too it's too narrow so we're going to fix that It just does not need to fit that tightly, and this will provide the clearance to get above this element. but I can't hardly get in here to see what I'm doing, much less get the camera in here at the same time. All right, so that does work by trimming it. All right, so by trimming just a little bit of this out, making this a little narrower so I clear these, these ceramic insulators, I can get all the way back in here with no problems. Or at least as no problems as we're gonna get. Now, I'm not gonna let this stuff go to waste because, well, it's been a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna cut this little strip in half and it's gonna go on either side. Okay, well, maybe not that piece. So there's a couple more little pieces of this that are spacers that go at the back. So what I've got to do next is seal up the hole for the thermocouple. And for the um, boost element, and I'm going to do some of this from the inside. And 
some of it from the outside. That's it. So now I gotta stop and let all that dry.